Hello guys, in this video, let's see how to install MIUI version 6 on the Redmi Note 4G. So before beginning the procedure, let me tell you that there are two versions of MIUI 6. The first one is the stable version and the second one is the developer version. I personally prefer developer version because most of the features implemented in the MIUI are present in the developer version and they are not present in the stable version and they come to stable version uh, very late and if you want to have all the new features in your phone then go for the developer version the developer version is pre-rooted so you don't have to separately go and root the device and developer version is just for the name most of the times it's very much stable there are very minute bugs but still if you want to have the stable version then follow the same exact step and you will be able to get the stable version now as you can see over here uh, I have selected Redmi Note 4G and this is not the global variant so this is the stable version which is based on MIUI version 6 and this is the developer version and if you want the global version then select this option and as you can see MIUI version 6 is not present yet and by the time you are watching this video if MIUI version 6 which is stable in the Redmi Note 4G global comes out then I will give the link of a video in the description below and uh, you can follow that steps so that you won't have to wipe data and let me tell you that uh, yesterday the whole day I tried different methods so that I won't have to wipe data and we can upgrade from MIUI version 5 to MIUI version 6 but unfortunately that's not possible so you have to wipe your data but that's not an issue because you can use the MIUI's backup system the, by which you can backup the data and then restore it later on so let's get started with the tutorial of how to install MIUI 6 on the Redmi Note 4G so to flash CWM recovery go into updater app then hit the options button and now select the option which says select update package and now select the CWM zip all the files which I will use in this video will be linked in the description below so don't forget to check that out. Now after you reboot into system, simply go into updater app once again and then, then hit the options button over here. If you are on MIUI version 5, simply hit the option button over here and select reboot to recovery mode and hit OK. Unfortunately I recorded the complete video in, on MIUI version 5 but I realized that the complete video was not focused so I have to do it again and I can't simply flash MIUI version 5 again and do the video so and we are using CWM over here and not the TWRP recovery because many users have reported that TWRP recovery is not as stable as CWM recovery that's why we are using CWM recovery now after you boot into CWM recovery first thing you should and you have to do is select backup and restore and back up the current ROM so that if anything goes wrong then you can restore that backup and be on the safer side and if you want to back up the ROM to external storage then simply hit this option backup to external SD and it will back up the complete ROM now as you can see the backup is completed now simply hit back option and now select wipe and format options uh, to enter into the option hit this button or simply you can use touch options uh, so select clean to install a new ROM Select wipe user and system data. After that's done, simply hit the back option once again and now select now select install zip. And if your ROM zip is in the internal storage, then select from SD card. Or if your zip file is in the external SD card, then select choose zip from external SD card. For me, it's in the internal storage, so I'll select this option. Now simply scroll to the option where you have put the zip and now you can select the developer version if you want to install developer version or select stable version if you want to install the stable version so i'm currently sticking to developer version and now select yes install developer version and one more important difference between developer version and the stable build is that developer version gets the update on the weekly basis and uh, stable version gets update on monthly basis so all the bugs which are encountered are fixed in the weekly update so it's not like on the developer version it will be full of bugs so as you can see the rom installation has been completed now simply hit the back option and now select reboot system now and now if you want CWM recovery to be your default recovery then simply select yes disable recovery flash and if you want the stock MIUI recovery then you can select no and stock MIUI recovery will be back but there is no harm in keeping CWM recovery as you get multiple options like you can back up your complete system anytime and you can restore that backup anytime so that's a great thing so I personally prefer CWM recovery over stock recovery so it's up to you which one you want to select so simply select yes disable recovery flash and now the system will reboot into MIUI 6 so guys as you can see over here we have successfully booted into the MIUI 6 now for the option buttons let's select english hit the next option i'll just set up everything and i'll show you guys how to install google play store and everything so i'll be back in a minute so guys as you can see we have successfully booted into the MIUI 6 
and there are no issues let's check the android version and as you can see it's 4.4.4 and the redmi note 4g in india comes with pre-installed kitkat which is 4.4.2 so that's uh, surely a good thing and let's get back to the topic and let's install all the google apps uh, like play store google play services and everything because it's not pre-installed in this rom uh, and you won't be able to install apps from play store so for that simply head over to mi store as you can see that was named as apps hit the search option select english and select this and now write down google and just hit the search option and the first thing you will notice is this application with this logo simply hit install over here this app is of 13.5 mb so it will take some time for me to install so till that time let's see some of the MIUI features so some of the main features of MIUI 6 is like if you hit the options button you will get to the multitasking tray and the normal options like uh, if you swipe down the app will be locked and if you swipe up then the app will be gone from the recent app tray or if you simply pinch out then you will get to the multitasking tray which exactly looks like iOS 8. I have in detail walkthrough of MIUI 6. I have already made a video on it. As you can see over here, you can click the video over here or I will give the link of this video in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. In that video, I completely cover all the features of MIUI 6 or basic features of MIUI 6 rather because that was earlier version of MIUI 6 and many new features are added like 100 operation mode like this you can't really reach the top every time then you can simply use the 100 operation mode and you can use everything so the app must be installed by now and as you can see over here, just open the application uh, now simply select install and it will say that google requires google service framework to work click ok to install now simply hit this option over here this will install all the applications which are necessary for the google play services and google play store So as you can see the Google Play Store is getting downloaded now. After that's downloaded, simply hit over here and select to install. Now install the Google Play Store too. After this, simply sign into your Google account and you will be able to download apps through the Play Store and you will be able to use all the Google services like you can sync your contacts and everything else. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. And if you have any queries or if you have any doubts, then don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to reach out to you. And if you like this video, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching.